One of the first things that you have to do in order to prepare for a SOC 2 audit engagement is select which principles from the trust services principles will be included in your SOC 2 audit report. The principles again are security, availability, confidentiality, processing integrity, and privacy. Security must be included in any non-privacy principle SOC 2 audit engagement. We refer to the security principle as the common criteria that applies to any SOC 2 engagement. It applies across the board to all the principles involved except for privacy. So you must include that one. But from there, you will look at confidentiality. Uh, do you have agreements with your clients about how you will use the information, who has access to it, and how you will protect that? And are you abiding by those contracts that you've entered into? Um, processing integrity has to do with um, providing your services in a complete manner, in an accurate manner, in a timely manner, and are you doing those things? Availability has to do with, is your system available to your clients as agreed? Um, the services that you provide, are you maintaining the type of availability that your clients would expect for your services to be available to them? And then finally, privacy really kind of stands on its own. It's a very unique principle. It's very different from the other four. And we usually issue that as its own type of report because it addresses how you collect and use personal information of consumers. And do they have rights to opt out of how their information is used? And do they have the ability to file a complaint and get a response from you on how information is being utilized. So think about those five principles and what would be included in your SOC 2 audit engagement.